Today I am going to do a tutorial on drawing a gemstone, a blue topaz. For this drawing I have used a reference photograph. Since it is a transparent stone with multiple cuts on it, we can't easily predict the behavior of light. So whatever I am drawing here is purely based on the reference photograph. The pencils used are Derwent Colorsoft pencils on Canson fine grain paper. I have made an outline based on the reference and I just drew lines where there are noticeable color difference. Here I am using only 5 colors, they are blue, electric blue, indigo, grey and black. So I am starting off with the lightest color first, the blue. I am going to fill in all the lightest areas of the gem with the blue pencil. It is really easy since we don't need any value gradations here. You just need to fill in the colors uniformly. Like I said before, this is purely based on the reference photograph. Now we will take the next darker color, electric blue and follow the reference picture and fill in the areas accordingly. Some areas may be having the color in between these two shades. So I will use both the pencils and fill in those areas. You can see that at some places I am going over the other blue to make it a bit more darker. And whenever you draw try to make a polygon with straight edges. For the central part of the stone, there is some blockage to the light, so the blues will not be as vibrant as the other parts. So in order to make the blue dull, I am drawing a layer of grey color first and then I will add blues on top. I used both electric blue and blue for drawing on top. Now take the darkest of the blue, the indigo, and draw on all the remaining area. Notice that I left behind some areas for pure highlights and some areas for pure black. And like I did before, at some places I am drawing on top of the previous colors. This is to make different shades other than these three blues. And with a black pencil I am drawing the darkest areas.
Now I am blending the dark colors with baby oil using a synthetic brush. I am leaving behind the lightest colors for now. Because blending it with baby oil will make it darker and we may lose some contrast. So I will blend them with a blender pencil later. Also you can see that I am going over the grey area again with dark blues and dark greys to make it darker. I did this because they were lighter than the reference picture. Now I am going over the lighter colors with the blender pencil and for some areas I even used white pencils to burnish. And with the white pencil itself, I am drawing polygonal patterns over the darkest areas. This will make an illusion of transparency. Finally with the black pencil I am drawing in between those polygons to give them more depth. As a final touch I will pull out some highlights with an electric eraser or you can easily use a white pencil for that. Since we have already applied the baby oil, it will be very easy to add further colors. For the cast shadow I am using different greys and blues and notice that I drew some polygonal shaped highlights here. They are nothing but the reflections coming from the stone. I am blending the shadows with the blender pencil because using baby oil will make the shadow look unnatural. 
So that's it for today. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and you can follow me on all social media linked below.